I'm going to give this for the first time. I'm going to see if I can cook this lasagna, a homemade Italian lasagna, inside a little 12 volt portable oven that can take with you anywhere basically. Anywhere you've got a good source of battery power. Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, doing a bit of a cooking video and we're going to cook this fella here, my 12 volt travel buddy. For those that haven't seen the 12 volt travel buddy before, uh, this particular one is manufactured here in Australia down in Bendigo in uh, uh, Melbourne. So it's basically an oven. But instead of running off 240 volt, it runs on 12 volt. And it will reach temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius. So pretty much what you can cook at home, you can cook on this. So you can bake, you can roast, etc. And I have done a roast video on this in the past. So if you go back on my YouTube channels, you'll see the roast videos there. So just off my side, I've got my little Safari Drifter 250 watt high voltage solar panels powering the battery to keep it up charge because these things when they're running they'll draw up to 10 amps so on average this one draws 10 amps so I've had it going for about 15 minutes now so I'm gonna you want to let it preheat for probably about 40 45 minutes maybe half an hour might be enough uh, it's a very warm day today so maybe half an hour could be enough for preheat and then we'll put the lasagna in. Now traditionally the lasagna at 200 degrees Celsius will take about an hour to cook. Okay, so I don't know, we'll have to see if this thing will sustain the 200 degrees. If you let it preheat and you've got enough battery voltage going into these. So that's a good tip actually. There's a tip that I, when you use these, to get that maximum heat as hot as possible, particularly when you want to cook something like this at 200 degrees Celsius, it's a good idea to connect your solar power to your battery banks, even if your battery is fully charged. The reason why is the voltage. You want that voltage up high. So if you keep that voltage up high, hotter these are going to run. Okay, so at the moment I've got a little battery gauge right here. And let's just have a look. So at the present, my battery is 71% charged. But the solar, my 250 watt solar panel, I've got a 25 litre fridge freezer running here with both the freezer and the fridge running. And that battery is still charging with that little flat little solar blanket. But the voltage, I'll just check and see what the voltage is. Okay, so at the moment, all right, because it's bulk charging, it's charging about 12.8 volts. Um, that's not too bad. It would have been better if I could have got it above 13 volts. So if it was an, at an absorbent charge, so that's the thing, if the, if the battery's at absorbent charge or the battery's fully charged, those, that voltage will be up higher, which would be ideal. So this is probably not the ideal situation. 12.8. But then that's sustaining 12.8 volts though. That's sustaining 12.8 volts. So what I mean, I mean this here is running, and that fridge running, and we're on 12.8. So in that aspect, it, it, it might be fine. Uh, it's a bit of a trial, we're trying out. Now the reason I'm trying this out, this Christmas day, I'm going to use my Drifter Hexatarp. I'm going to set it up down near the beach at the banks of a river here, uh, not far where I live. And the whole family, we are going to have a Christmas lunch on the banks of a river under the Drifter Tarp. I'm going to cook a lasagna in here and I'm going to cook a roast on my Drifter Stockton fire pit with the Ospit 
spit and the drifter stopped and fire pits around under my canopy and I'm going to cook a roast on there we're going to have some salads I've got the freezer here so I'm going to have some ice cream etc and store it all in the freezer as well the drinks and that other members of the family obviously are going to bring a little esky and so on for some additional drinks and so on so we're going to, that's the plan I'm going to cook all this over the Gigi charcoal so fingers crossed there's no total fire bean I'm just that's the only thing that worries me if there's a total fire bean and if that's the case then well I'll have to check with the fire department to see if it's still okay because the the fire pit it's got that grill I can put on the top so you could say it's kind of enclosed whether it's enclosed enough I don't know so fingers crossed that won't happen it wouldn't surprise me if it does because it's stinking hot today and that's the only thing that's one disadvantage we're actually looking at what we're going to do about this because we uh, replace my 270 degree awning with the drifter Stockton it just comes out the side I've got no awning over the back here which is and I really notice it now just standing at the back here cooking probably my 270 degree awning would have been more ideal otherwise I've got my hexatarp no problems I just drive up under the hexatarp and that's the plan we're doing on Christmas day uh, is I'm going to use that hexatarp and then if we need additional shelter then I could just put that awning off the side on Christmas day so let's get on to this okay hopefully you can see that all right so that's the homemade lasagna so that's been heating up now in nearly 30 minutes that might be enough might give it another 10 minutes and we'll put that in and then we'll come back later and see if this will cook inside there oh, welcome back guys so it's just on my phone right now so I reckon she's cooked Now, this lasagna is made with um, uh, how many? Uh, four eggs. We use four eggs in this one. The pasta base. Uh, I think it could go a bit longer. Okay, how long has it been cooking for? Two hours so far. It's been in there two hours. Oh, it's actually switched off, bugger. I'm going to go a bit longer, I reckon. Right, give that a bit longer, I'll come back and check. Alright, let's see what we've got here, eh? It's been nearly half an hour later. And I think that's long enough. It hasn't browned on the top like we normally do, so... And hang on. Wait a minute, guys, I'll have trouble getting that out. I'm just going to have to put the phone down. And I'll bring it inside and I'll show you... So there you go. So that was cooked for two and a half hours. Now that's a fairly big dish of lasagna. Now normally that would take an hour to cook in the oven. Okay, so we we that that that'll be cooked enough to eat. But we like it a bit more brown, particularly on the top. So I've actually turned the oven on in the house here, and I'm just going to let it cook that bit on the top. But if you're on the road. I mean, this is possible. I mean, in reality, you probably wouldn't wouldn't cook a piece this big. 
So this, this is quite big, quite large. So those in the know, this is the SMW full height tray, stainless steel tray that's available from uh, Melbourne. I'm sorry I forgot what the SM, the abbreviation stands for. Uh, but if you Google, you'll be able to find it. So it looks quite good actually. I don't know what you think. But yeah, so we're just going to put it in there just to finish it off. So what I'm going to do for Christmas Day, actually I'll flick the camera around. Take the hat off. So what I'm going to do for Christmas Day is we're going to pre-cook this in the oven at home. So we'll make it up into the same dish and then we'll pre-cook it in the oven. And then all we do once we get to uh, where we're going to go for the Christmas lunch, is we're just going to heat it up. So quite often we always make more than enough for two or three meals and what's left over we put in the fridge and then heat it up the next day and the next day again and have that for lunch or back again at night time. And it's really nice if you heat it, when you heat it up again it's actually it still tastes really nice because it's all fresh, fresh ingredients. Uh, the, the pasta is all handmade, egg and flour so it's not the bought pasta that you'll see. We, we never ever make past any of the pasta, a lasagna I should say. We never make lasagna with the lasagna sheets that you buy up town. It's just not the same. It's always handmade. Hey mum. Yeah. It's just so much better, the taste. So I hope you like that. I'd call that a success, but definitely it those Travel buddies, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't get to reach 200 degrees because if that thing was 200 degrees, that would be cooked in one hour. So, but, but like I said before, the battery was down a bit. If it was at the absorbent charge stage or it was fully charged, uh, usually when, when your battery, because I use an AGM batteries, so normally when your AGM battery is at absorbent charge, quite often the voltage is well above 13 volts. Uh, same as when it's just like it's trickle charge, it's up around the 13 volts. Because the battery was down a bit, it was only getting up to about 12.8, because generally that's what they sit on when they're doing a full on bulk charge. Now that, that's gonna improve enormously. When, when I change upgrade to a lithium battery one day, um, it's going to improve enormous, enormously and then I can retry that test again and I'll try it again another day when um, the battery is fully charged or at least it's on absorbent charge that way that voltage is up above 13 volts so I think it was lacking a bit in the volts but even though it was lacking a bit in the voltage uh, that's still cooked, that's still cooked fine uh, but we're just going to finish it off because we're just like a little bit crunchy on the top there so thanks guys Till next time, uh, please subscribe and I'm going to show you a bit of a B-roll footage of what it looks like when it's finished. And until then, cheers. Alright, so it's about 15 minutes later guys and I cut a piece out and I took a piece off and yeah, nah, she don't need to go back in the oven. It's cooked and it tastes really nice actually, it's really nice. It hasn't got that little bit of crisp on the top, which we understand. And in fact, it's got it on the bottom a little bit because on the bottom is where the heating element is. So that's where most of the heat is. So it's still got that little bit of crispiness there, right at the base, uh, but it's not at the top. So luckily I did not put it back in the oven because I think if I did in the oven in the kitchen, it would have got um, overcooked, but it's perfect. My mum's just tried a piece. Uh, she's very happy with it. I tried a piece. It tasted great. Uh, it is 3 p.m. in the afternoon, so we're going to put this in the fridge and just heat it up and eat tonight and probably have some more over the next uh, couple of days. So I call it a success. Uh, it took a bit lot longer than I expected. But that's probably because of what the voltage was at the battery because it wasn't fully charged. So it's out there now on the solar panel. 
so it should be fully charged by the end of the end of the day so till then i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe put a like if you like the video so till next time cheers